Fuck! Toshiba. I could say that as much as I want to, but... What up, guys? It's been, like, what, a month since I've been able to upload, but honestly, it's just been really tiring. And honestly, really upsetting that for almost all of July, I haven't been able to upload a single actual video involving Left 4 Dead or something, which feels really embarrassing considering the fact that I made the announcement video saying all summer I'd fucking like to upload videos like once a day or some shit. But unfortunately, a lot of crap came up. As my last two videos said, a uh, bunch of things happened. I thought it was a battery issue, but it turns out to be more. But instead, l let me tell you a tale. So, I believe it was June 27th, I'm not sure, was the last day I really got to enjoy a game on my laptop, uh, or I'm gonna start calling it my crap top. Um, and I was playing with Patrick on CSGO Counter Counter Strike Global Offensive, and suddenly my laptop decides to fucking have a heart attack. So, at that time, I thought, okay, it's just a fucking battery issue. So, I, because it's my battery was just completely dead. I had to leave it on the charger every single second I wanted to use it. As soon as it was unplugged, it's just gone. So, replace that for fucking 25 bucks, uh, give or take, and found out it's not that issue. So, I called Toshiba, try to get some information regarding what's going on, and they try to help me go through the little troubleshooting process. And what they told me was... And this is why I say I fucking hate Toshiba, because they're real piece of shit garbage assholes for this. They were telling me that I had to basically get my laptop factory reset. And as you guys know, I have a bunch of videos and other content on my laptop. So obviously, I'm not going to want to do that immediately. So I asked them, okay, is there a way possibly from you guys that I can try to get my data saved? Uh, such as, it's like... I don't know, maybe get some kind of hard drive or something from them. Um, and they said, sure, yeah, we'll, we'll send you this USB, uh, which will help you connect to us, so that way we can data transfer your stuff to us wirelessly or whatever. Uh, and then we'll factory reset, and then once that's done, we'll send you all your shit back. So I was like, oh, okay, dude, fuck yeah. Uh, but then they told me their fucking price range. And they told me that on a normal basis, this fucking USB I'm holding right here that you can probably hear me fucking clicking uh, is the recovery drive that they were talking about that I was saying right now and this shit would originally be like a hundred bucks because it's like thirty five dollars for their subscription or whatever to actually be able to purchase from them or some bullshit like that and then the extra sixty five I guess would just be for this fucking little piece of shit which is just basically a sixty 16 gigabyte little USB, I guess, but also on it, I guess, is the recovery shit. So, they told me that, and I'm just like, whoa, 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 I'm not gonna spend a hundred dollars just for that, if that's all it really needs. And they're like, okay, we'll cut the price down, we'll only make it 70. So I was just like, alright, fine, if it helps me get my laptop back to working condition, so that way I can start making videos for you guys again. So, that took me about two weeks or so prior from having to buy the battery, which I had got in and replaced, which was like a week after that happened. So around, basically around like, I want to say, actually no, this this all started back in like June fucking 18th, I think, because that's, it's been that fucking long to the point where I have to fucking wait. So it's around... July 1st at the time or some shit like that uh, when this fucking USB finally comes in and as I talk to him getting this set up uh, the steps that we go through I realize that are the free fucking steps that we basically talked on through the phone about for the troubleshooting but I didn't want to say anything yet because I didn't because you know I'm fucking stupid and I didn't realize that if this is actually the thing on the fucking laptop spaces safe mode or whatever so, after that, uh, they realized, oh shit, sorry kid, uh, we can't do it. We can't save your stuff because it would give us an, like some kind of screen that would pop up. So I tell them, okay, so can I get at least some fucking money refunded or something shit like that? Because, you know, I spent 70 bucks just to try to save my shit, and turns out I can't save my shit. 
So like, nope, sorry, we can't do anything. Next thing you can basically do is just go to a fucking computer repair shop to get that done. And lazy fucking me thought it would be much harder to do so because I've been trying to call this one over in the mall that I live by. Turns out they don't do it, so I had to fucking look up a completely new place. And after I found them about two weeks later, uh, which is about around this time now, uh, I believe it was the 20th, I actually got to go in there and say, hey, uh, I have my laptop right here, is it possible to transfer over my documents, videos, and whatever, everything on this laptop onto something so that way I can get that done? They said, yeah, uh, it shouldn't be more than a couple gigabytes, which I thought was going to be just a simple eight. Turns out, no, I'm fucking stupid. So I had to buy an external hard drive, which was about 60 bucks online, but luckily that's three terabytes and I'm going to use that for future use. And then the guy in the shop tells me, okay, uh, we checked out your stuff. Turns out there's almost 400 gigabytes worth. So I was like, shit, uh, can you wait about a few days? Cause that's when this thing is going to come in. He said, all right, but if you'd like, we could just sell you one in the shop for about 55 to 60, uh, two terabyte. So that way we could get it done today and get you out the door by tomorrow. So I was like, you know what? I'll do that. I'll, I'll fucking pay the 150 so that way you can get the data transferred onto that as well as getting into fucking external hard drive, which is two terabyte. So I was like, all right, deal. So got that done, which is basically yesterday, July fucking 22nd, almost a full month later. So earlier today, I decided to call Toshiba because now all my stuff is saved on there. Got it checked. Everything is saved. Thank God. And Toshiba tells me, like, we go through the, the steps of trying to factory reset now because everything on the laptop is dead to me if I got the copy of it. And they tell me, okay, so we were going through the steps and turns out that we can't do it because your hard drive is fucked up. What the shit? What the fuck, Toshiba? You, you couldn't help me with this fucking analysis a long ass time ago. And now it turns out I have to spend another 40 to get a new hard drive. Plus like an extra 10 bucks for the kit so that way I can open up my laptop without breaking the bottom casing of it. So that's going to take about another week or two, I'm not sure, depending on how quickly they send. Because it's so much bullshit. So once that comes in, I can finally get that replaced into my laptop and just start working back at it again. I decided to go with this 7200 RPM instead of its original 5400 RPM, but it has less gigabytes, so that's gonna... It, I wouldn't really say it's an issue considering I have fucking 5 terabytes worth of external hard drive now. But I basically had to get what's worth about a new laptop, which I find completely infuriating. 250 bucks just to fix this laptop when I probably could have just gotten a new one. Or just save that money and just purchase a new thing, or purchase a new one, especially a better gaming computer. Um, which, speaking of which, I'm using the desktop that I've been using for those little crappy videos. But considering the occasion, my dad was cool and was just like, all right, just go for it. So hopefully he's cool and lets me edit some other videos on this while I wait for the laptop's new hard drive to come in. But because of that, I basically have a brand new laptop and around October-ish, maybe? I'm not sure. Um, I'm, I'm willing to sell this thing because I put 250 into it plus the 150 I bought initially almost half a year, no, about a year ago, yeah, a little, little less than a year ago. Um, so. Oh, I'm gonna sell this laptop. If anybody wants it, just email me uh, at therealdomatoro at gmail.com. I'm selling it for 200. I will throw in shipping uh, for free, basically, if anybody wants it. So that way I can get cash from that, edit videos on this desktop, and then save up money from my job that I just got and purchase a gaming laptop or gaming desktop I'm not sure which one will come around that time but that that's the story and those fucking piece of shit bastards from Toshiba those Indian accent sounding fucks and no offense to Indian people I fucking love Indian people they, they're always enjoyable to be around but these people in in fact just 
are the fucking worst. And even when I was talking to them and they were like, okay, you have to get a brand new hard drive. I asked them how much it would cost for theirs. Uh, they told me a usual price for it would be 40 to 60. So I was like, all right, might as well just order from you guys. Turns out that they would try to sell it to me for around 140 bucks. So, which was including just like shipping it to me and then I send them my hard drive for some reason I'm not sure and it was just bullshit so I told them no you know go fuck yourselves I'm just gonna go to a shop or something order a new one and then just get it replaced myself so honestly fuck fuck them but I will hopefully be able to post different videos now considering I got everything saved um, the giveaway uh, that I would like to do will have to be postponed probably till about August 10th is when I should be able to be fully up and running again maybe even a little sooner um, and uh, virtual reality which I put in the last video which sadly won't be able to happen in August considering all my fucking hundreds of dollars I just had to fucking spend so that will have to wait a little bit longer uh, probably till late September instead which is, uh, well, besides, I'm not even sure if it can even run on this desktop, which I'm pretty sure it should be able to, because, you know, it's a full-fledged computer and not no crap top. But, who knows, we'll see what happens in the future, and hopefully you guys stick around for that. Also, thank you guys that I've been checking it out. Um, I wanted to say something, but really couldn't, because I didn't have any real access to it. But we reached 13.5... No, 13,500 total views on this channel. And I see some of my other videos going up into the double digits, which is, though, though they're, they're low, I still really appreciate it. And I, I appreciate you newcomers that decided to subscribe during this time. So hopefully I get to get back out there um, very soon. And the reason why, uh, sorry, I'm flubbing right now. But, um, I haven't been able to play any games really because all of them are like progress that I have to show. But uh, I did get Overwatch and I'm like level 42 or something like that. I'm not sure. And I will be sure to do videos of that because it was because it's one of those plug and play games and you're basically not missing anything. So hopefully you guys learned a lesson. Speaking of which, uh, once I do find a use for this recovery drive, which apparently I have to use on the hard drive. Um, I'll, I'll lend it to people that are trying to get their laptops fixed too, but I'm not sure about that, depending, because, you know, fucking 70 bucks for 16 gigabyte USB, it's pretty fucking crazy. So, that's pretty much it. That's my dilemma for this past month, and hopefully we can get this solved soon, and I'll be able to see you guys in the next one. You have a good night, y'all. Bye.